Morna Bastasini here for seconds out here with Lennox Clark. Lennox, you're headlining on Saturday night against Willie Hutchison for the vacant British title and Commonwealth title. Uh, first of all, how are you feeling? How's life treating you at this present time? Feeling good, man. It's been rested up, you know, just, just chilling in my room. And, I, and, I, and I'm raring to go. I'm raring to go on Saturday night. Lennox, let's talk about this opportunity. We know that you've been in, you were in a, a big fight last time around as well against Leron Richards. Um, I know on record you've gone and said that, you know, there were certain things leading up to the camp which, you know, didn't go in your favour. This time around, uh, how has that camp been? Has it been perfect this time? Listen, we've had a brilliant camp, you know, uh, loads of rounds sparring. So there's no excuses on the night. Willie Hutchins got the best version of me and uh, hopefully I get the best version of him and come away with a victory. Listen, you're fighting in an era where it's a bit different now. You're behind closed doors, uh, no fans. Uh, so it's, it's going to be different. Are you sort of, is there more pressure on you because you're going to be headlining first of all as well and there's no fans there cheering your name? Yeah, no, like I don't feel any pressure. Um, you know, it's going to be the same as what we do in the gym every day. You know, sparring, no crowds, no music, it's normal. Um, being headlined, I'm ready for it, mate. Uh, doesn't matter whether I'm at the start of the card or at the end of the card, I'm fighting Willie Hutchinson, and that's what I've been waiting for. So, um, yeah, man, I'm ready, I'm happy. Talk to me about you when you last fought, 2019. Yeah. Uh, the question that I've got to ask is Ring Rust, how's, how's it been? How's, How's it been for yourself in that period? Have you been training constantly throughout that period? Obviously, I've been in the gym now six months. Um, obviously, when I lost, I had to have some uh, some physiotherapy on my arm, so I had months out doing that. But I've been back in the gym now for months, spied loads of rounds. You know, I'm very prepared for this fight. Um, you know, ring rust, it's not, you know, I spar every day, mate, you know, so there's no ring rust for me. Okay then, uh, let's talk about that last fight then against Laurent Richards. Um, you know, a lot of people saw it as a, as a good fight. It just, just talk to me about that one. How, how was that for yourself? Yeah, it's a bit of pill to swallow. Um, you probably seen the interview with me and Willie the other day. Yeah. This went live. When he starts talking about Laurent, it really robbed me. But, um, mate, without me and that fight, there wouldn't have been a fight. I was the one in the ring making the fight. So, yeah. Um, it's one of those things, it's, it was a massive learning fight for me. I've took a lot from that fight that I'm going to bring into this fight. So uh, hopefully it's put me in good stead and uh, we come out victorious. You just talked about that head-to-head -head, uh, on the Queensbury Promotion YouTube channel and he did rile you. You seem to be very, uh, very angry at some of the comments. Well, what do you think or what do you make of Willie Hutchison as, as a fighter and as a person? Good fighter, cheeky, very cheeky. But you know, when he's mentioning my losses, you know, in the amateurs he's been beat by a few kids that I know, you know, of. So we've all had our, our defeats on our way to where we are today. I think it's a bit of a coward's thing to say, mentioning prior fights because you're fighting me now. You know what I mean? I'm the present man you've got in front of you. should be mentioning the past sort of thing. So, like, yeah, it did get to me. It did get to me when he mentioned that because I felt like I did do enough in the later. You know, maybe against Lerone I started too late. But I felt like I'd done enough to win the fight. I didn't lose the fight because I was still coming at him in the 12th round. Yeah, so, so I might have lost the fight but the battle was still on, wasn't it? The view was there. So, yeah, one of them things is cheeky. You said, you know, he's a good fighter, but you're facing him on Saturday night. What chinks do you see in his armour then? Um, you know, we, we haven't really seen how good Willie Hutchinson is. He hasn't boxed anyone to show how good he is. Um, so we don't know what his chinks are. Um, I'll soon show you them on Saturday. Um, you know, he, he's never boxed the rounds. So if you come to try, you know, I don't know, mate, I don't know. He hasn't boxed the rounds, has he? So I don't know, because he's been boxing one round jobs, and he? He's been rolling them over in one round. So we haven't had a chance to really see Willie Hutchinson. Um, so I don't really know how to add to that one there, mate. How does it go on Saturday night for yourself then? Are you looking to stop him? Well, mate, listen, I'm either going to ping his head off, yeah, for 12 rounds, or I'm going to stop him. Um, I'll either box him on the back foot, or I'll walk him down and smash him. Um, either way, I've got full confidence and belief in myself that I'm going to win that fight on Saturday and take what I've been longing, I've been longing for, and that's the British and Commonwealth titles. Lennox, for, for a lot of people that don't know you quite well, apart from the Leroy Richards fight, they, they might not really have, have heard of yourself. What, 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 sort, what got you into boxing? What was the motivation into you stepping into that ring? Because you know boxing is a grueling world, man. It's, it's a brutal world. Um, what made you step into the ring? 
well, you know, I had no amateurs, I come from the white collar. Um, well, I walked in the gym one day after work, and there's some, uh, there's some, there's some kids in there that I know, some Irish lads from my area, asked me to spar because I was big. So I ended up getting me punched off, didn't enjoy it. Ended up coming back every day to get my revenge. And before you knew it, I started boxing white collar, sparred a few pros, and then here I am today. Boxing for the British Commonwealth. Is there any fighters back in the day that used to watch that inspired you to get into boxing? Yeah, uh, I used to watch a lot of Tyson, as a lot of people did, try to move with the style. I used to like Marvin Hagler. Um, you know, he was one of my favourite fighters because I, I kind of try and resemble his style a little bit. I think he's a great fighter. And uh, obviously now, these days, I like watching Canelo because I think he's the man about town. Yeah. Let's let's move away from me and talk about that man then Canelo um, fighting Billy Joe Saunders in May. Just just talk to me about that fight, man. As, as... <laughs> I like Billy Joe a lot. I like Billy Joe a lot. I think he's a good bloke. Um, I think he's a funny character. Um, I really hope he goes and does it, pulls it off. But he's been coming off the, uh, you know, he's been coming off how many good victories Canelo so you know I'd like Billy Joe to do it but Canelo is the man is a hard man to beat so I don't know Do you feel like Canelo is a man at 168 uh, when you look at the other names Caleb Plant David uh, Benavidez is, it, is there anyone that can beat him at that division? I don't know mate I think Billy Joe has got a, a chance there's definitely a chance there because he's got the skills he's, I think if Billy Joe can keep him off him without playing then yeah he can win but if, I think if uh, I think if Canelo gets the win, then you know what Canelo is like. So I don't know. Final one, I would ask yourself. Uh, probably the biggest fight in 2021. Should it happen? And it looks like it might happen. Is uh, yeah, uh, Tyson Fury, Joshua. Yeah, go on. You just said it there, but how do you see that one playing? Yeah, I think Fury will stop him smashing. Yeah. Yeah. As simple as that. Just your, your, you. I think, yeah, I watched him against uh, Dante Wilder in the second fight. You know, it's phenomenal. So I think, yeah, I think, I think I'd shout Fury in that fight there. You know, so that's my opinion. Lennox. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm sitting on the fence with this one. It's a tough fight, man. It's a tough fight. Uh, Lennox, before I let you go, uh, just for the fight fans, I want to follow your journey. What sort of social media handles or what sort of social media are you on? Just follow me on uh, Instagram. Uh, Lennox Leon uh, follow me on Twitter which is Lennox Clark Boxing cool Lennox look good luck on Saturday night I know it's a big fight uh, headlining on BT Sports so yeah good luck and hopefully we get to speak to you again thank you thank you so man